<laughs> what up, film fans? It's your favorite host here, Fania Thomas. <laughs> Today I sat down with the cast of DC and Warner Brothers, The Batman. Now listen, I saw the film last night. And yes, it's almost three hours, but it doesn't feel like three hours. It moves fast, so you don't feel like you're a captured audience. So that's one note. I'm gonna give you my review, no spoilers. For you comic book fans, now there are a few scenes that get real comic booky in the precinct. Wink, wink, I won't give away too much. And also there's a hallway fight scene in the dark, but there's flashes. <laughs> that's all I'll say. Those scenes to me feel real comic booky, so look out for that. And speaking of the precinct scene, once you guys see this film, how did they not take off Batman's mask sooner? I just knew it was coming off. I was clenched to my seat. I definitely would have been one of the police officers that took his mask off, no lie. <laughs> when it comes to the costumes, it's not over the top. It's very subtle and cool and chill. My favorite scene, it may sound really odd and weird, it's the funeral scene. It's hands down one of the best scenes ever. I literally screamed out, not the killer on FaceTime, like how? <laughs> it's so good, it's performed well. Cinematically, it looks great. It's got some good stunts, got some intensity. <laughs> Look out for that. The film is cinematically clever. It has some Saw and Seven vibes. Pattinson Sands are gonna love his grunge, hopeless, moody, Nirvana vibe. Colin's costume is done well and done right. The only way I noticed him was through his eyes. So that's a costume well done. I love the play with shadows and lighting and the technique. Oh, and I love the muscle car. I love the Batmobile. It's really thrilling. <laughs> So that's my take, but sit back, relax, and get ready to hear what the stars of the film have to say about their most thrilling scenes, what they learned about each other, and how they put their own spin on the characters. <laughs> Check it out. How you doing? Oh, hi. Hey, what did you guys learn about each other during this whole experience? Extremely hard worker. Uh kind of i mean i'd only really hung out with zoe socially so i just thought she's just a party oh girl. my god <laughs> no i didn't really <laughs> no i always thought she was a great actress but um but like you know there on on a movie like, it was really relentless work schedule and kind of uh you know it could have been awful if you had someone who was just couldn't you know didn't want to put the effort in but zoe really brings a hundred and fifty percent I mean, I wasn't very surprised that he's in a fantastic actor. He was one of the reasons I was so excited to, to be a part of the film. And um, so it wasn't really surprising. It was more just um, such a delight to be able to watch Rob transform into, into Batman every day. And, and he brought so much emotion to the character, which is really hard to do when most of your face is covered up. So I was really impressed by his ability to, to portray so much, um, so much emotion. How would you describe the spin you took on the portrayal of these characters? A lot of the work was done for us, luckily enough. Matt had a very, very clear vision and he was really, really interested in the psychology and the emotional state of these characters. And I think his instinct is to, you know, take these very heightened worlds and ground them and make them really real. So I think that was, you know, that was that's part of what makes this film so different. And, um, and meeting these characters also in such early stages, you know, meeting Batman in year two and meeting Selina before she's Catwoman. Um, you know, it's it's a different it's a different world to explore. It's always been so fun. It's, it's like when you see a character that's been portrayed in so many different styles and so heightened in so many different ways, and then when you approach the character and try and break it down to the kind of constituent parts, like you can really realize how the characters have been reinvented so many times because the the ingredients are uh, you know you can make you can make a million different uh, mm -hmm. uh, recipes with it. That's really good. <laughs> Sometimes our personal lives can be just as hectic as Gotham. How do you guys find alignment? That's a good question. I mean, I think, you know, having a good support system, having friends and family is just, you know, especially after, you know, the, the, the time that we all just went through and, you know, are, are going through this pandemic. I think we're all so thankful to have, you know, to be able to be near our loved ones or, you know, be in touch with them is kind of everything. Mm. And, and it's interesting because we're both playing characters who I think really don't, 
have that. Mm -hmm. That's why they're so anyway, messed up. Anyway, you, <laughs> you end up putting on a bow. Yeah. So keep your friends, <laughs> keep everybody. Your friends. Or, you could end up. or it's going to get weird. <laughs> well, we hoped you all were entertained <laughs> or maybe learned a little something new about one of your favorite actors. Now, we have to have a whole discussion about this film. So once you guys have seen it, come back and let's have a conversation. Did you like the bat car? Did you like the bat suit? Did you like Catwoman? What did you think about the penguin? What did you think about Rob's The Batman? I'm so curious to hear your thoughts. Also, are you guys interested in the spinoff film that's coming and the TV series? I need to hear from you. I need to know what you think. I'm excited, but I wanna know if you guys are excited. So after you've seen the film, come back. Let's have a conversation in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe because we're gonna be dropping interviews all week long and you don't wanna miss out on those interviews. <laughs> See you on the next one.